Hi, this is Amy Chadwell, and this is how to download audiobooks from HPU Libraries. HPU Libraries now has access through NC Live to a collection of downloadable audiobooks from One Click Digital and Recorded Books. To get started, you're going to need to set up your account with a service. Um, the best way to do this is to do it on campus your first time just to get authenticated. Once you've done that, you can log in from anywhere and download books in this uh, audiobook collection to your PC or Mac and then transfer the book to your portable device. To create your account, go to our online resources A to Z link on the library homepage. Under A, choose Audiobook Downloads from Recorded Books. So the first thing you need to do is create your new account up here in the right hand corner. On this first screen it's going to ask you a few questions. Um, you can choose your own login and password. You don't need to use your HPU credentials down here. But it is going to ask you what operating system you're going to be using with One Click Digital. Um, it's also going to recommend a download method. For Windows users, I would recommend using the One Click Digital Media Manager. It makes everything much more seamless. This is a small program that will install to your computer either now or you can do that later. You can also tell the system what kind of portable device you're going to be using. If you aren't going to be using a portable device, that's fine. You can also listen to the book on your computer through the digital media manager that you download. So if I were to create my account today, I would enter this information, create my username and password. I would probably use my HPU email address, but it's not required as long as I'm creating my account on campus. And then I would click create an account. After that, you can go ahead and log in. Once you've created your account, you can start using the service anywhere. One of the first things you're going to need to do is to download the One Click Digital Media Manager. And here you can see the Windows download as well as the Mac download gives you a little bit more information about installing it if you need it, but um, it's very easy to use. And let me go ahead and open mine up. Once you've installed it, this is what it's going to look like. <clears throat> And you can see I've already linked up my account to it, but the first time you install this, it's going to ask you to put in your username and password that you created on the OneClick Digital website right here. So right now I don't have any items checked out, so let's go ahead and find a book to check out. You can browse here the new releases, but you can also start searching for items up here. So if I found a book that I want to check out, such as this one by Stephen King, you can now choose how long you want to check it out for. Your, uh, your maximum is going to be seven days. And go ahead and click check out now. Depending on your browser, it's going to open maybe a little dialog box in the middle. With uh, Google Chrome, what I'm using here, it's going to open a little downloadable file at the bottom. So opening that is going to go ahead and pull up my media manager. Penguin Audio presents The Shawshank Redemption by Steve. And it's going to go ahead and start playing it for me. But we can check on the downloading status right here. If we were about to run out of time, we could renew it from the screen. We could also return it now if we wanted to check out more items. And so once we have plugged our device into our computer, such as our iPod, then we can click on Download Transfer to start that process. If you have any questions about using OneClick Digital, please ask us.